Um, I just want to show you what this looked like. I made this yesterday. Um, this is the apple thing. Mm. Eating it cold is so good. Like today isn't super hot, but mm. it's still so good. This is the apples. They're nice and soft now. And they're kind of cinnamony. Mm. Let's go get new food for Hannah because she is getting sick of her dry food. Um, she doesn't get sick of her wet food, but dry food, you have to like switch it up once in a while. And I forgot and um, she does not want to eat her dry food anymore. So I have to go buy new ones. This is cute, but I want a bigger one. This isn't as cute, but it's the right size. Hmm. I used this one before, but I haven't used this one. I want to try clumping one, but it's like this much. Hannah has eaten this one and this one. All the grain-free ones are good. Oh, that one's also good. Hannah currently eats... Which one does she eat? She currently eats... This brand right here. This one is good too. What did I get? I love hauling. Oh, hold on, let me put this back so you can actually see me. Ta da! So, for food, I ended up just getting a small bag of this. This is the Nutrients Grain Free. I tend to buy cat food that is mostly grain free or has very low carb content because cats are obligate carnivores obligate carnivores and they should just only eat meat technically um, it's good to have some treats once in a while but like you know they're supposed to eat meat so anyways I'm gonna sprinkle this in with her regular food and like slowly integrate it um, just so that she doesn't get sick of her current food that she's eating right now because look the current food I have like a huge giant bag still anyways I just want her to be able to eat her food um, because even though she gets wet food um, like I don't always just give wet food with every meal because it is kind of expensive in my opinion to just give wet food and like I want to give wet food every meal but sometimes I literally cannot so because sometimes I'm like busy and so like I have her dry food on like a timed schedule anyways and for litter wise I'm gonna try this one I've never tried any clumping litter before and like I have never given her like clay litter because clay is technically not good for their lungs um, so that's why I did never bought clay litter and plus when she was in the shelter She used pine litter anyways like pine pellets, but I want to try this. I've tried this brand before I tried their pellets It's the walnut litter. It's the brand naturally fresh and I Thought that was okay. Like it's just walnut pellets But I want to try this because it is clumping and I'm like and it reduces odors as well So I got this quick clumping one uh, I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it. If not, I'll just go back to using pine pellets. But I'm just gonna slowly integrate this too. Like with anything that you do for your pets, you should slowly integrate things. Like switching things up on them can like disturb their routine and their comfortability. Um, anyways, I'm craving hot dogs, so let's make hot dogs. <laughs> and I wanted to try this one because I've tried the regular one. I don't like the regular one. I mean, it's okay, but I'm gonna try the tin... Uh, spicy uh, if you know me I love spicy noodles um, or any instant noodles Jack just kidding I don't just like spicy noodles I like instant noodles I love instant noodles like ramen instant ramen is my favorite and I got a bottle of this because I'm not running low but I'm scared to run low on this can you focus can you see what this is this because I eat it for my salad rolls I need it and some mushrooms and then I got her some treaties as well so these are squeezy tube treats she loves those um, I haven't tried that brand before but then these squeeze which she hasn't tried and these salmon bites which she hasn't tried but she's eaten something similar and then I got some meats so like hot dogs for what I'm craving I'm literally craving it so badly and then chicken because I love chicken and mints there you go Ta -da. Oi, what's this? You wanna do some tricks for mommy? 
Venus, you gonna do some tricks? Ready? Just wait, you be good girl. Ready? Double. Good girl. High five. Good girl. Other. Good girl. Spin. Spin. Good girl. She's a good girl. Are you a good girl? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait. <laughs> no. High five. Double. Other. 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 No. Other. Good girl. Wait. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. She's so impatient. Because I got these boneless, skinless chicken thighs, I usually like to do, with all the meats that I buy, I like to usually like freeze them right away so they last longer because I'm not going to eat them all in a week. Okay. Wash my hands. That's the thing about me in the kitchen. I don't know about everyone else too, but whenever I'm in the kitchen, I literally have to wash my hands like every <laughs> time I touch something dirty or slimy. Like I don't like having that feeling of like having touched, like I crack an egg and like I get like egg whites on me. I'm like, oh, I gotta like wash my hands. I'm like always like with these two pincers. Anyway, so we're gonna put these into the freezer. And I usually like to let them freeze flat. So what I'm gonna do is, hold on. I'm gonna pop them in there. Let's make hot dogs. And let's chat while I make hot dogs. <laughs> My cooking utensil holder is like so full. It's crazy. I don't even think I use half of them. I only use like a few of them. I don't know why I have so many. I think cause like my parents bought some for me and then I bought some too. And then it's just, it's just overfilled. Anyways, let's turn on the heat. When using nonstick pans, you don't always want to blast the heat to the fullest because you're going to actually kill the Teflon coating, I think. I think. That's why I don't bump it to max heat for te like these Teflon ones. Also, I feel like after a while, if it's like all scratched up, you should throw it because um, the coating, if it's like scratched off, is not good for your health. Anyways, um, let's do one, two, three hot dogs. I feel like that's enough. I feel like I should just eat only two, but I'm craving it. You know how in my last vlog I was Saying how I was a little bit confused and everything. Right, Hannah? She's like, S okay, yeah, you're sniffing mommy's bag. Don't bite her bag, okay? I was saying how I was confused. Um, and I still a little bit am confused a little bit. Um, but I have a little bit more clarity. My birthday just passed. I turned 29. Hannah, no. That's mommy's. Um, and yeah, like, I think having my birthday pass i realized like i like the community and like you know like the relationships that i have where i'm living and it kind of just made me realize like i probably would miss it if i were to move not to say that just because you move you're gonna lose all your connections to people or, and whatnot but yeah like i really do have like a good relationship with my family so it's really hard to like leave them right Hey, Hannah. Look at her. Hannah. Um, but yeah, like, also that my grandparents are aging and I feel like I should be spending more time with them, not less time with them. And I know I'm young still and like, oh, you should go out and explore and live your life. But I feel like realistically, I need to find a job that would be able to support my need for adventure and stuff like that. Um, and I should learn to love living where I'm living and I hear it, it's sizzling um, But yeah, like I feel like maybe I haven't been doing that living in my city for Almost all my life our family moved to the city when we were When I was like almost five. So I lived here for a really long time um, And I don't really see myself living anywhere else right now um, just because like I think recently I've been reading a lot of articles on how expensive it is um, to live elsewhere in Canada and if you don't know I only really want to live in Canada mainly um, that's just my preference I don't really want to live in any other country like other countries are great I love other countries like especially like different cultures and things like that but realistically with my lifestyle I, because I grew up in Canada I'm so used to the lifestyle here um, and obviously I'm privileged I'm able to speak English uh, here and so like communication and stuff isn't that difficult and also like job prospects wise like I think 
it'd be better in Canada for me anyways. Um, but yeah, that, so that's just a little bit of like what I've been thinking about lately. I have a little bit more clarity now. And you know what? I think I just have to embrace and like enjoy each day rather than thinking about like what the future could be. With my personality type specifically, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do this too. Um, but I am the type to kind of like imagine futures rather than live in the moment like what would my future be like what if i just had this or instead of living in the now like i don't realize like how much i do that until i obviously reflect upon it like i'm such a how do you say it like dreamer type person um and i like to live in my head a lot uh and i didn't realize like how crazy it is that like i have my own place that i'm living in and like that i'm not grateful for it and not enjoying it to the max fully like i don't realize like i i didn't realize that i was doing that until i've been reflecting upon it more you know um but yeah that's just what's been on my mind but yeah look at these hot dogs they're kind of getting there but i feel like they should cook a little bit slower and lower rather than like high and like fast hot dog I don't know how to make it pretty, I'm sorry. I'm just, oh God, ew, mustard juice. Did you see that? Ew, uh, oh my God, that's so gross. <laughs> Good enough, I don't have relish. I feel like though, when I was younger, we didn't really buy hot dog buns. We would just like grab bread and wrap it around the hot dog. Cause that's more convenient. A few moments later, this headband blends in with my hair, so it doesn't even look like I'm wearing a headband. But I am currently boiling the shrimp right now. Is it even boiling? It's not boiling. But um, I also just washed. This is right here is the lettuce that my dad grew. My mom and my dad. Um, but yeah, right here. Um, you know, I just washed it because there was a lot of dirt and bugs in it. Um, but it's like the little baby lettuces. And um, my sister gave me this, hold up. So like, she gave these things, they're so cute. They're like paper, paper, they're like paper towel like replacements essentially. Like they act like paper towels, um, but you can reuse it many, 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 many times. They're Ecology Danica. I don't know this brand, but it's so cute. Look at this apple one, so freaking cute. Anyways, I've been using it just to like wipe my counters and stuff. I'm being lazy right now, so I am waiting for that to boil and then I'm gonna use the same pot to boil the rice noodles and then oh i should go make the sauce right now to make salad bowl dipping sauce like you can make it however you want but this is how i like to make it um you just need some hoisin and so the one that i bought today in the squeezy tube is just more convenient this one is just in a jar but then also you'll need peanut butter you can use smooth or chunky um i just like to use smooth because that's what i like to eat and that's what i have in the house um but anyways we're just gonna scoop a really big scoop of peanut butter like really big i don't know why i'm using a teaspoon to be quite honest like i i don't know why anyways a lot of it and this is only for like one person, so I don't know how much you would need to make if you're making it for multiple people. I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, because again, most of this food I'm just using and eating anyway, so I'm done, I'm gonna use the same spoon. I actually don't care. Um, and I'm not worried about cross contamination because I'm not allergic to peanuts, obviously. Um, but if you're doing this for other people, use separate spoons. That's probably a good idea. So it's like 50-50, um, equal parts. Do you hear Hannah and meowing? It's because, yeah, every time, yeah, every time that I make shrimp, she wants shrimp. She's like, where's the shrimp? Where's the shrimp? Where's the shrimp? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> As I was saying, I just took the shrimp off of the range um, and letting it cool down a little bit. And I'm gonna blast it with cold water in a second. And this headband is bothering me like, it was supposed to help because my hair is like greasy right now. Anyways, um, we're gonna pop this in the microwave and just like, just because the peanut butter is a little too firm and we're just gonna microwave it for like 20 seconds. Adding some water to thin this out. Mm. 
I should have put this in a bigger bowl, right? But I like using this bowl because it's like a sauce bowl. You can hear her, she's so mad right now. Right, Hannah? Yes, I'm a mad girl. And I just have water boiling in the back because I'm gonna be cooking these noodles. So these ones aren't actually that good. They're vermicelli rice noodles from this brand. I prefer a different brand. It's the one that has the red label and is rec it's like horizontal like this way, not vertical. And it's like so sh such like good tasting rice noodles. These ones are just okay when you cook them. And then I'm gonna use these ones. And these ones, honestly, okay, last time I went to TNT, there was a different brand that I really like to use, but TNT didn't have it. They only had these ones. I don't know why. Like, these ones are okay, but I prefer the other brand too. It's like a lot of stuff, like, I like a specific brand, but I can't ever find it. I don't know if you can see, but I have peeled and cut my shrimps in half. And then I have the noodles ready here, the vermicelli. And then there's my lettuce. And here, I'm gonna put in some hot water. Always give Hannah a little bit. Come here. Come here. She goes crazy over this stuff, man. She goes, <gasps> okay. If I have any leftover shrimpies, I will give it to her. Anyways, we're gonna take one of the rice paper wraps. I'm sure you've seen people do this, but you guys can see what I'm doing too. I'm making the lazy version. So this is not traditional. I'm just doing this the lazy way. So it's nice and dipped and you don't want to dip it too long because if you dip it too long, it'll become really hard to wrap. It like sticks to itself and stuff. So anyways, um, I'm gonna take some shrimpies. Usually I take three, but these shrimps are big, so, but I will take three. I think I have, will have enough. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna make a lot of rolls today. So then after that, um, we're gonna take some noodles. I actually don't know. This is why I don't like this brand is because like the noodles don't stick to each other. Like, do you see? They're not sticking to each other. They're kind of just like loosey-goosey, which I don't like. Um, anywho, enough complaining. So I'm gonna put this many, I think that's a lot of noodles, but we're gonna put some veggies now. So we're gonna put some lettuce. After we put the lettuce, we're just gonna roll. So usually I like to close it, but sometimes it's actually really hard to close. So I'm just gonna tuck in the and a little bit, just a little bit. And just roll, roll, roll. I can't roll it really tightly like my mom does. <laughs> but yeah, it's an ugly roll. But there we go, that's one. I'm gonna put it over here. <laughs> They're not pretty at all, but that's okay. The reason why I make this so often is because it's super easy to make and it's, to me, it feels quite healthy. I'm not too sure if it's super healthy. Yes, Hannah, but it feels healthy, like you have some protein, right? And you have some carbs, which I love. I personally just think it's like so refreshing to have this meal in the summer. I didn't close the ends for this one. This one looks much prettier because I didn't close the end, I think. I don't know. Normally you have chives in here or like my mom likes to put mint or cilantro in here, but anyways, I don't have that. Okay, so I think I have some extra shrimp left over. Hannah, come here, come here. Double, come on. Double, double, spin, spin, no, spin, no, oh my god, bad girl. High five, other, okay, there you go. Oh my god, she's going crazy. She loves shrimp. It's a, it's a, uh, she wants to eat. You wanna eat? Okay, well you can't eat, I'm sorry. You can watch mommy eat though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. No. Here. High five. No. High five. There. Gosh, she just wants to steal my food. Mmm. 